Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jimmy here and welcome to another podcast. I'm joined by two fantastic individuals once again. Firstly, GRN Celery Steak. How's it going, buddy? Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm great. And Sir John Snow from Jardev. Hello, it's me again. I'm here, friends. <laughs> <laughs> we have made it once again together. And before we start off again, I want to do uh, what might become a week a weekly thing or a podcast. A podcastly um, thing? <laughs> yeah. I like it. Do... How podcastly of you. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever that means. Sure. Uh, we're going to do some Be- Bieber news. I it's you guys Bieber are... news. It's, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Let's have a jingle for that. Yeah, that's the jingle. <laughs> that's the jingle in Bieber news. <laughs> that was it. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the Bieber news. I like He's... to stay firmly on top of Justin Bieber at all times. Mm. That sounded terrible. Yeah. <laughs> He's not underage anymore. You can say stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> I guess you That's can. That's true. <laughs> I like to stay firmly on top of Justin Bieber whenever I can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, sorry, Jimmy. Poor, poor Justin, though. I mean, seriously. The guy's gone a bit nuts. He has. He's kind of gone off like the deep end, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's managed to cause $20,000 worth of damages to a luxury mansion by chucking eggs at it. I really don't understand that. How do you do, like, $20,000 of damage with eggs? See, that's what he I thought when I heard eggs that. and everything, and it, this <laughs> one guy, this poor guy's house, we picked on him every year, and I think for those 10 years we did it, he never spent that much money. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> you would have said something if you had to spend... <laughs> That amount of money every time yeah, you guys. He actually stuff. hired someone to clean it once. I remember we watched him hire somebody, and they came and they sprayed off all the eggs that were like frozen to his house. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh that's my god. Great. But at least it didn't cost him twenty thousand dollars, unlike Justin Bieber. Yeah, Jeez, but shit. so he's been done for uh, vandalism, and he he might be, what's the word, extradited or was deported. Oh, he wasn't in he wasn't in, in the U.S. when it happened. Uh, he was, yeah. He could, so he could be deported back to Canada. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, we don't but want him. <laughs> in more, even more recent Bieber news, Okay. Uh, he got arrested for drink driving. I think. Yep. Yeah, he did, Sweet, yeah. yeah. I heard that, yeah. He was like uh, racing, and he was drunk while he was doing it. <laughs> he was under the influence of marijuana, alcohol, and prescription medication. Jesus. <laughs> so I think he was high as a kite. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Gosh. How old is this Isn't bastard it? again? Nineteen, I think. 19. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> um, have you guys seen Wolf of Wall Street? I haven't. Um, I've heard of it. All right. Well, basically, it's about the the stockbroker guy who basically takes every known drug on the planet. And I, there's there's a scene. Uh, it just reminded me of that. I won't spoil it for you. It's a great film. You should go see it. But, um, that was a terrible time, story time. to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started it and I was like, you know what? I don't want to spoil this this film. Well, it, it has me go. it has a uh, Leo in it, that. so I'm in. It does, and Jonah Hill Leo? was awesome in it. And Jonah Hill, sweet. Yeah, and it's a Scorsese film, man. You gotta see it. Oh, is it? Huh. Yeah. Apparently, they've been wanting to make it for about ten years or something like that. A ridiculous amount of time. Oh wow! This is the one that like I for some reason get confused with American Hustle or something. I haven't seen either yeah, of them. Yeah, because they, they came out at the I same time. Seen any of them. Yeah. They, they, like, they both did pretty well at the Golden Globes. I watched a bit of the Golden Globes just to see if old Leo would win something, and I was really happy when he did. Oh, what'd he win? He, uh, I think he won Best Supporting Actor for uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Supporting Actor? Or, Is he the main dude? Yeah, probably lead actor. <laughs> Oh, that's good, man. He deserves an Oscar. One or the other. <laughs> it's one he of deserves them. some credit. Well, it wasn't an Oscar. It was a Golden Globe. Yeah, but he deserves an Oscar. He does deserve an Oscar. I want him to win an Oscar. Do you know he's, he's one of the few Globe? actors that has never done a sequel? He's never done a sequel? Yeah, fun fact for you. He's huh. never done a sequel. Didn't know that. <coughs> if you think about all the films he's done, it's like they're all like uh, one-offs, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Except Inception is technically a sequel to Titanic, so you know. <laughs> yeah, Titanic <laughs> too. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> Inception was a, a, an interesting movie. I had to watch it like four times to actually figure it out. And by the fourth time, I hated it. Like, I didn't want to watch it again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I loved Inception. It was weird. Have you seen the, the trailer for Titanic 2? Some guys made it on YouTube. It's really old. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, it's fantastic. Go and search for uh, Titanic 2. I haven't seen this. the first one, so I don't want any spoilers. I'll put a link down in the description You're for anyone watching this thing. that wants to watch it. <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. They take scenes from like Austin Powers. When he, when you know Austin Powers, he gets frozen in the thing and they're melting, <laughs> melting it. I bet. They take a scene from Austin Powers and put it in there. I've never actually seen Austin Powers either. What? I've like the like, habit of never seeing like all like the movies you're supposed to see. <laughs> but you see all the ones that no one knows about, eh? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's like, cool. Like I've never seen like The Matrix. Oh. No. Nope. I've not seen two and three. I've not, not seen really. the sequels. Huh. I've seen all of them. Because I feel like The Matrix should have just been one film. I've heard people say it that. Could have been. Yeah, I thought the first one was really good. I didn't want to watch the second one. Okay. I don't know why. I'll get around to it. I the whole series was good. I liked it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Well, I do want to watch American Hustle. I haven't seen that yet. Um, I want to watch it because it has Jennifer Lawrence in it. So I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Did you see... Um... Oh, what's that I'm one? also a fan of Jennifer Lawrence. I had to do a quick Google search. I am suddenly a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? What, what did she win the award for? Silver, Silver Lining Playbook. Oh, yeah, with old... Um, is it Bradley Cooper? Yeah, did you watch that? No, I haven't seen that either. <laughs> oh, it's so good. She's so hot in that. I saw Hungry <laughs> Anyway, no. um, I wanted to tell you about a dream that I had. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wanted to hear about this, because it's I had pretty to, old at the same time, but I like it. I had to wake up in the middle of the night and write this down, because I thought it, it was so amazing. It was worth uh, really? casting. However, I don't know how I can word it without sounding like a maniac. Mm, just don't worry about it, then. Listen, Jimmy, I, I don't think anybody who's listening doesn't think you're a maniac. So don't worry <laughs> about it. Like, I mean, like, it, it, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, I'll just shoot for it, then. Yeah, go for it. Um... The dream, it, was, it wasn't really a dream as, a, as more of a thought. It's that, what if we are actually a race of aliens that live for thousands of years, right? And the current life we're living uh, is only an experiment to see what it's like to be a human. <laughs> and, and so when we die in this life, we'll wake up as that alien. And then they'll be like... <laughs> Now you know what it's like to be human. <laughs> so they're like a, a questing race for knowledge of the universe, and they found humans. Jimmy, are you sure you weren't high when you thought of this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't be certain what I consumed before I slept. But... <laughs> Wait, so these aliens have been like pretending to be humans for like millions? No, no, of no. Years. It's like a, it's like a, it's, it's like the Matrix. Like it's like a dream. Machine. I haven't seen the Matrix. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Imagine spoilers. we're in a we're in a, no, a, okay. a pod or like a vestibule with this yeah. VR helmet on the whole time. Right. Yeah, and because because we live for so long, we can we only spend like what seventy years as a human to kind of understand the race. But like... so our our life is is we're just in a pod, and then when we die, we wake up as ourselves, which is an alien. But what about all the humans around us? Yeah, what are they? Yeah, they're all constructs. So they're all inside our head. Yeah. Oh. See. It's like Assassin's Creed. I haven't played I, Assassin's I, I Creed. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your, your dream is sort of like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Without all the assassinating. Well. Or the creeds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Assassin's the creeds. Creed, you're going back in history and I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty deep, man. That's pretty deep. Yeah. It is pretty deep. That's pretty fucked up, man. I don't know if I explained it properly. It, sound, it makes more sense in my head. Does it? I don't know if it makes any more sense in your head, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, well. You know, what do you, you know, think, that's, right. that's really cool. <laughs> Get on my side, guys. Come on. Yeah, back up old Jimmy here. 
Look, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll be on Jimmy's side only because if he's right, there's going to be a lot of angry aliens if I don't side with him. Right? <laughs> That's he's true. Gonna go with Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's going to go back. And he'll be like, hey, you know this the celery guy? Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him and his face. Like, <laughs> Especially his face. Especially the stupid celery face. <laughs> okay, yeah, anyway, I had, I had a thought immediately after that, right? Okay, it's, there's more. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a stupid little thing, right? Do you know, pe- you know, do you hang up a calendar on your wall? Like, yes. a, like, a, like a paper yep. calendar that you write shit on? I don't Sometimes write on that. I, I, I've got one. Yeah. Do you... Do you take it down at the end of the year and put the new one up? Yes. Yes. Don't you think it'd be cool if you had like the previous year's one side by side so that you could see what you did on the same day a year before? Yeah, I guess that would be What cool made like you that. think of this? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought like, it'd be a cool idea. What made you think of this? I just thought it'd be something cool to do, you know? No, it's, it's, it is cool. I never considered it, but I just... You just had two really random thoughts. And, wow. <laughs> Wow, you know, yeah. people make fun of me. Holy shit. Wow, <laughs> two calendars side by side. My gosh. <laughs> Would you, like, keep adding calendars so you'd have, like, I'd have, like, 21 calendars now? If you had a big enough wall. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow, I've done nothing in 21 years. <laughs> yeah, because I never write on them, so they're all blank. <laughs> yeah. I only write, I like, sense, really then. important things. Like, if I'm going on vacation or something, that'll be on there. Or if I had, like, a, an oh, exam, wedding. that'll be on there. Wedding. Yeah. That's an important one. Yeah. Don't, don't want to forget. miss your own wedding. <laughs> don't <Yeah>. forget wedding. <laughs> Wear running shoes. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's sad, because, like, I just use my phone for all that shit. That's mm-hmm. what I do, too. That's I'll what have I to do write too. things down now. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be a pretty cool idea, though, Jimmy. I think that'd be pretty cool just to just to see it. It is an interesting um, idea. On my GPS in my car, there's um, well, it's like a little GPS unit. Like it's not built into my car; it's just a little handheld guy, right? Oh, so yeah. it just sticks on my windshield, and uh, what it does is it actually will trace everywhere I've driven. So on all the roads that I've been on, or whatever, like any road or whatever, there's a little dotted line that's on it, and it's blue. Oh. And that means I've driven there before. So my route to work every single day has like 13,000 lines on there, because oh every gosh. day I just take a slightly <laughs> different way, right? <laughs> and So every time, like, so I could actually go back and I could see everywhere I've driven eventually, if I could download the map data. That would be kind of cool. That's cool. I, I've heard of an app. I've heard of an app like that on your, you can get on your phone, which is um, like it's a map of the entire world, and it's all clouded over. But using GPS, where you go, it unclouds it. Really, <laughs> like the fog of war. Yeah, yeah it's like a, it's like yeah. the fog of war. So like, if you take a plane from like yeah, Canada to Australia, it'll unfog the entire journey. Oh my god! So if you travel the world, I didn't know a lot, there was an really ocean cool. there. <laughs> yeah. What's this app called? I don't know. It might be fog of something. For, I, I fog don't know. of something. I heard it on. I heard it on a podcast somewhere. Someone was talking about it. Okay, that's pretty cool though. That is pretty cool. I just don't know how it would work up in the plane because you don't have service in the plane. You can now, I think. Uh, on maybe, some, maybe, on some maybe, American maybe airlines. Flight, you know, you might be right. Maybe for flying an overseas flight that's like thirteen hours, maybe then they give you a little bit of entertainment. So yeah, some yeah. flights are getting Wi-Fi now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm but sure some flights you can use it. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty real, Jimmy. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> another quick thing I wanted to tell you about. Is this uh, another using... game or another like really good idea? Nah, it's just something cool that I saw. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I was just browsing Reddit. I, gotta, I really look forward to this now. After those first two, this one's got to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't think it's as good. It's just a quick observation. Yeah. I, I was like searching on Reddit for stuff, right? And I found the subreddit called Trees. Have you guys heard of this? Our Trees? I've heard what? of it. Yeah. yeah, I have. It's basically where everyone posts about... Uh, weed and marijuana and stuff like that. You'll post pictures and experiences and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of it, yeah. But it's called okay, R Trees. And uh, once in a while, you'll get someone that comes on and posts a picture of a tree. Oh, my God. <laughs> goes, 
Does anyone know what tree this is called? <laughs> so, oh my god, so poor this, guy. So they started a, another subreddit called Marijuana Enthusiasts. <laughs> and that is a subreddit for trees. Oh, of course. So, yeah, so it's like they've switched the Oh, that's so awesome. funny. So if you go on, if you go on the marijuana enthusiast subreddit, you'll, you'll see pictures of trees see everywhere. A bunch of trees, and you'll be really confused. <laughs> That's great. So, I can't find it. I'm really bad at multitasking. <laughs> so shall what we I talk about? Find... Um... Oh my gosh! Sorry, go I should not be look. No, I shouldn't be looking at that 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 thread. It's 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 ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Go search uh, R Gone Wild. No, I don't <laughs> wow. think it's appropriate either. I may have stumbled on that by accident earlier. Yeah, sure. Accident. It's probably one of you guys' easy said mistake to make. Anyway, let's move on. We, we all wish Justin Bieber well. Oh, was this all part of the Justin Bieber um, segment? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, this is not. This is not appropriate at all. What? Well, why did you tell me to go here? Which one are you on? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What, Gone Gross. Wild? Yes. Oh. Well, yeah, now that, this that, podcast that is rated 18 plus, so if you're, if you're under 18, <laughs> you have to leave right now, okay? This is too much for your ears. Or just see... Yes, that bowling ball should have never gone... Anyways, continue. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't want Gone Wild you're on. <laughs> Bowling, bowling, bowling gone balls gone wild. Oh, bowling yes. balls gone wild. Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna take this a step further. There's okay. a subreddit. There's a subreddit called "Rate My Vagina." <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Why? Go check that out if you if you're feeling up no, to no, it. No, that I. What's that about? <laughs> what do you think it's about? They post nice pictures <laughs> of no, like no, oranges. No. It's pictures of cats. Oranges. <laughs> pictures of cats. <laughs> no, no troll cat today. He's uh, he's sleeping somewhere. Oh what? I like troll cat making appearance on the podcast. He just show up a fair bit. Yeah. I just went to like the marijuana enthusiasts uh, subreddit. There's some nice fucking trees on there. <laughs> <laughs> there are some nice trees, man. <laughs> there was a guy wearing like a fallout gas mask. He couldn't see a thing. It was so foggy on the inside of the gas mask. But there was trees all around him. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I- I don't think it were tr- I don't know what this fog was though. Hmm. So since this is I guess sort of like a gaming podcast. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so about games. we've talked about so many games so far. Yeah. You guys want to talk about what games you've been playing? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Who who wants to go first? Um Go for it, John. Eeny meeny miny mo, why don't you start, John? Snow. Oh my god, it rhymes. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Uh, what have I, I have been playing? Snow. Uh, I... Snow. Uh, have you guys ever played Maple Story? Come on, snow. What was that, sorry? Maple Story. Have you guys ever played Maple Story? <laughs> when I was like five. Mm, right, okay. It's <laughs> a good start. Uh, basically... <laughs> the like, beast taming? You've been playing Maple Story. I, like, I used to play it a lot, um... I, I've quit. I've been quit for like two years now, but like I still check like the updates occasionally. And a new class came out called a Beast Tamer. And I was like, eh, let's see how you know badly they've screwed this up. So I, I re-downloaded Maple Story. I started it up, and I quit twice during the tutorial. I like I just could not get through it. It was all isn't full it, rage quit. Isn't it like Habble? It's like for children slash rapists. Pretty much. Oh my god. <laughs> I, you get like, two kinds of people on okay, there. I remember Habo. I, everyone tried Habo once, and it was terrible. But, <laughs> you mean so? This is just like a like like it's an a MMO terrible place. In yeah, that it's, sense? it's a really shitty two D MMO, and I, I hate it. And I hate how much time I spent on it, and I hate everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing. I I don't know. No, I played like ten minutes of Maple Story or something. Um, I also I started playing this cool little puzzle game called Kami. Uh, I did a first impressions. I, video. I heard of that actually. Is it yeah. about communists? No, <laughs> no. 
It's a it's a Japanese paper folding puzzle game. Oh yeah. Oh, it actually looks really shit. cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did a first impressions video of it, and after the video, I went and bought it on my phone, and I'm just playing it on my phone a bunch, and it's a lot of fun. Nice. It's like you can get a free version um, for Android, or you can like pay for the full version, which is like a dollar twenty, and it's totally worth it. It's a really fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, Sweet. Apart from Maple Story and Kami, uh, just a bunch of Minecraft. I play like survival games. Hunger Games. Yeah? Yeah. You took your pedal off the Don't Starve? Or oh, no, I did. not mention it because that's like a staple. Uh, I, yeah, I was actually not going to mention I did start uh, a new playthrough that I'm not recording. I'm just like playing because I want to. I finally yeah. unlocked Woody, which is great. And uh, yeah, I've just been, you know, just Canadian. out of bit. He is. He's a Canadian lumberjack. Nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so those are, those are my right. games, really. Cool, that's, that's yeah, it's good. Thanks, man. Oh, check out this origami game, that's cool. What's yeah, it called again? Kami, it's K A M I. K A M I. Yeah, it just came out on Steam and it's on Android and iOS. Nice, I just got myself an Android phone now, so I might check oh, that nice. out. Oh, what kind of phone? <laughs> it's a Sony Xperia SP. Oh, okay. Cool. Because I moved back to Singapore, I just signed up for a plan there and got this phone. Nice. So I, I now feel not crippled. Did you? Oh my gosh, yeah, you must have felt like. Yeah. Really? I had a shit. I had a shitty little Nokia. <laughs> like one of the really shitty old ones. Oh no. Was it a? Was it a flip phone? No, it's. Okay, it wasn't three, that old then. Okay. Three something, three series. So yeah. Okay, I don't even know what that, what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that yeah. is. <laughs> Fucking old. Oh, I'm glad, yeah. you, glad you got your new phone. Yeah, I played it's Angry exciting. Birds for the first time. Oh, yeah. I was like, wow. what is this Angry Birds everyone's been talking about for the last <laughs> 10 years? I've not been able to play it. I think that's what everyone does when like, they get their first smartphone. They just go and download Angry Birds. I know that's yeah. exactly what I did when I got my first smartphone. That is also what I did. I can yeah. see why it's like one of the most downloaded. I went to the Play Store and it was like... Angry Birds, free, download it. I was like, yeah, sure. And now there's like 10 different Angry Birds. They have like an Angry Birds like go-karting game. God. Jesus. I know they got an Angry Birds Star Wars. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They have Angry Birds They have Angry Birds stuffed animals. They have all these like t-shirts. Maybe the red <laughs> bird, the green bird, or the blue bird. I don't know. I think Angry Birds is on Steam, actually. Angry Birds toilet paper. <laughs> Just wipe your ass with a nice red bird. <laughs> Angry I don't Birds know if I want to do that. Bags. I kind of do. It sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you, what you been playing, Seller Stick? I've been playing a lot recently. I've been playing a lot of like, sm- like um, smaller titles that I wanted to test out. Um, mm-hmm. Let me think. What have I been playing? I've been playing a fair bit of like, it's a game called Humans Must Answer. But as I've been playing it, I've been calling it Humans Must Die for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's because it was Zips is, No, it's Zips' is Orcs Must Die. I, I keep getting in my head every time I say Humans Must Must Answer, and I say Humans Must Die. And <laughs> it's a, Must Die sounds <laughs> better, to be honest. Yeah, it does, actually. It off the top um, it, that reminds me of a, a song called The Humans Are Dead. Oh, is that, uh, uh, is that Flight of the Concords? Yeah. I love Flight of the Concords. The humans are dead. <laughs> they are all dead. Because the robots killed them all. It's a lovely song. <laughs> that is a great song. Anyway, sorry. Continue. Yeah, sorry. No, it's, um, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's, it, do you guys remember those old, like, either the vertical scrollers or the side scrollers that are just, like, your little spaceship, and you keep getting the upgrades for your bullets, yeah. and they yeah. get, like, a bigger spread and a bigger spread? That's kind of what game of it is. Oh, <laughs> I've seen that on Excuse Steam, me. yeah. It's pretty it's new, isn't cool. it? It's kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, it came out, uh, sorry, guys, my voice is just terrible. I got this terrible cold. Um, <laughs> it didn't come out too long ago. I think maybe no less than five days ago, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um... I've been playing that a fair bit. It's a lot of fun. Um, what else have I played recently? Actually, no, it came out on the 16th, so it came out like 10 days ago. Oh, sure. Um, I, I played Kickbeat a fair bit recently. Kickbeat, it's like oh, yeah. Dance Dance Revolution for 
like a controller for oh your PC. God. Yeah, and it's <laughs> awesome though. But like, what happens? So okay, if if you, love I it, played Dance DDR. Dance Revolution. I loved it. I have a I have a pad upstairs for my PS3. Um, <laughs> wow. But this is like a fighting game. So instead of you looking like this cool guy dancing on a dance floor, what they got is just oh. like a guy fighting people on the dance and floor. It's really to, cool. To a rhythm. To a rhythm, like and like song? when the guy, well, the, the music's really cool, actually. Nice. Well, sounds pretty they, cool, um, actually. So the guys jump out at you, and like you have to time it when they're about to hit you. You gotta like hit the, you know, hit your button on beat, and then you like do this move to defend yourself, <laughs> and it's like you do like this perfect roll move. It's really <laughs> awesome. You gotta check it out. It's really cool. It sounds like a game you gotta see. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of do. I'm going to go ahead and say that for you. I'm looking at some of the screenshots for it. It looks pretty intense. It is. It's hard. It's really hard. It looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> I highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Can you use your own music? Yeah. Oh, that would be I sick. That would be. That's like, um, what's that game? Audio Surf? Yeah, Audio Surf. I used to love Audio Surf. Audio Surf is great. <laughs> you put some crazy dubstep in there. Yeah, no, no thanks. Yeah, crazy shit. No, I want to uh, put my uh, my my game pad, like my my actual DDR pad. I want to plug it into my PC and see if I can get like something to make it work. So oh, I can yeah. actually use the uh, game pad for the game, and you I can make a video. Start doing flips and shit in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen someone that's really good at DDR? It's crazy. You know, they're always like. I, the people I've seen, they're always really big and heavy, and they just their feet move so fast. Like, it's incredible. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. In in Asia, the arcades are really popular. Have you heard of a game called Para Para? Para Para. I, I have actually. Yeah, I para have. Para Para. I haven't heard of that. <laughs> it's like you stand in a circle, and there's sensors on your left and right, and below and above you. So it's like DDR, but you're activating sensors. So it'll be like left, right, up, down. But okay, people yeah. will make their own dance moves for it huh. to activate the sensors. And the people yeah, that no, play I've, that I've are that. crazy. So you're like crazy good. You're like a D pad or something. No, it's in an arcade. Oh, it's a big, it's a big machine. That's weird. And you stand in the middle of the machine, and the sensors all around you. And you just dance. Yeah. Oh. But it, it, it's like DDR. you got certain sensors that you have to activate at a certain time. I think it's kind of like Kinect, like for the Microsoft. Like it just, your arm has to go in a certain direction, right, Jimmy? And yeah. that like sends off the sensor. So like imagine you got to throw your – you have to press the left button and the right button so you do some weird like arm flaming, flaming, flailing move. Flaming. Your yeah. arm. Whoa. Your arm shakes <laughs> <Arm moves. laughs> fire. Oh, man. Yeah, it's that sounds cool. like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. That does sound yeah. pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, like karaoke and stuff is really big over in Asia, and that kind of like ties right into that sort of right. Yeah, yeah that's true. I love their karaoke over here. There's a woman that lives like a few floors below me, and some weekdays I can hear her sing karaoke. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> She made an she made an appearance in one of my videos. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Just like wailing away on karaoke. <laughs> no, I don't think you can hear her, but I had to stop the video and be like, "Yeah, someone sing karaoke in this construction. Awesome." Jesus, you have such a hard time like, recording. Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, the sad. other day, the other day when we did our video, literally ten minutes afterwards, it would have been, I would have been unable to do it. Oh, right, because you, like, you called me uh, like 10 minutes after, didn't you? Yeah, I called you and I was like, yeah, dude, you have to listen to this. I, I was downstairs <laughs> watching Breaking Bad at that point. <laughs> it was nuts, man. Oh, man. But I think today is, today is Sunday, so I think they're off. They've got the day off. Right. Oh, really? So I can do some recording today. Oh, nice. What are you going to record today? Um, Probably more Vampire Masquerade. Nice. And uh, maybe some Hearthstone. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. Episode, really. Yeah, I've been, I've had Hearthstone for ages. Like, I got the beta ages ago. But I only started playing, I only started making videos for it 
like a week ago, and I realized, oh, this is when they released the open beta. Yeah, it's everyone's, an open beta now. <laughs> so everyone's freaking rec- uploading videos. I was like, oh, damn it, should have done this a bit earlier. That's okay. By the time I did my videos, like everyone had like already moved on from it as well. So yeah, but it's it's fun. It's a really fun Hearthstone game. Hearthstone came out a while ago. That was like four or five months ago, wasn't it? The, the beta first came out then. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's been out for a long time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun though. I just I don't know if I'll be good at it. That's all. I thought that, but it's actually really it's it's one of those games that. It, you can play it casually, but it's hard to master. Yeah, it's it's really easy to learn though, which is nice. Yeah, it's really simple. Simple premise. I don't I don't like games that have a huge learning curve. I like to be able to pick up a game and just play it. Like exactly. I remember when I played. There was a game Eve Online. I don't know if you guys ever played Eve oh, Online. Yeah. I haven't played. I, it. I, I haven't played, played that. It, I played that when it first came out, like years ago. This is probably hitting ten years ago, and. It had like honestly like a three hour learning curve before you knew what to do. Jeez. Yeah. And like now if somebody give you a game with a three hour learning curve, I'm pretty sure you would just turn it off. It's like if you win. can't like Sorry. I don't know. No, it's alright. If you can't learn to play the game in fifteen minutes, I think that's too much. At least most of the controls anyways. Yeah. I just well, tutorials are built into the gameplay now anyway. That's true. Yeah, but there's some I don't know. Some of them are still pretty boring, though. Like I, um, what was it? For instance, the tutorial for that Kick Beat game I was playing. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. It was so boring. But the game is awesome. Yeah. And then I had to actually go into the tutorial because I didn't understand. It's something the same with um, It's the same with you know Cannon Brawl that game. Yeah. Is like uh, the tutorial goes on for way too long. You're like, yeah, dude, I know how to play it by now. <laughs> like. <laughs> Move this here to build a new thing. You're like, yes. <laughs> yes, I know how and to do this. Yeah, it went on for way too long. They should just drop. They should just drop you in and be like, yeah. yeah. If you're struggling, be like, by the way, you can do this by this. Yeah. Oh, I tried to. I tried to play uh, Europa Universalis Four. I don't know if you guys uh-huh. have played yeah. that. Yeah. No, I haven't. No. Um, yeah, I, I did the tutorial. It was a pretty long tutorial. It took me like an hour. And like after the tutorial, I still had no idea what I was doing. And so I just haven't touched it since I last played it. <laughs> Which is really sad. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of a game that like has done that for me. I know that uh, a lot of people, are, like these gaming companies, they're trying to make games so interactive, right? And they're trying to make us, they're always making your own decisions. But yeah. the problem with that is, is that if you got to make your own decisions, they got to, uh, like, they actually have to make you get have those options. Then you got to know how to play those options, right? Yeah. Oh, so you want to craft this, you want to sell this, you want to go adventuring here. But then you got to like teach everyone how to do all the different things, like I don't know how to make a rune, how to make a, how to imbue something. It's, it's it, it could take a while. Yeah, but um, <coughs> play, playing Vampire the Masquerade, right? That's a perfect example. Because there's pretty much no tutorial. They drop you in and give you a quest that says, go find this guy in this place. And you're like, all right, I don't have a map. Uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, God. Yeah, I map. saw your video on that. That was that was crazy. Like, How long did it take you to find where you were going? <laughs> Not too long. Like the, the, ma- the place isn't that big, but I just love that, that they don't give you a big arrow or a quest marker. And uh, they go, they say... Go to the museum and do this. And you're like, all right, where's the museum? Let's go. Let's explore. I guess it's more realistic there because like, yeah. you're supposed to not have like any idea where you're going. Yeah, it's like Morrowind. Have you played Morrowind? Elder, any of the Elder Scroll games? Yeah, I played yeah, a bit, yeah, of, bit of Morrowind. Oh, man, I played loads of that. And I loved it because they'd be like, go to this city, uh, find this guy and do this. And you're like cool, I have no idea where this city is or who this dude is. And you basically just have to talk to people and find out. See, I played, it's like so unique. I played Morrowind after Oblivion and Skyrim, so like, All right, I found it really hard to play Morrowind because I was used to like the quest markers and stuff like that from Skyrim. Yeah, that's but the it, thing though. You do that nowadays, people just like, oh, fuck this game, I'm not going to do that. You know, I kind of like this quest markers though. Like, I have a horrible sense of direction. Me too. I, <laughs> and I like to know where I have to go. Like, the worst, like, I remember playing Elder Scrolls. Like, 
there was right away at the beginning, I got arrested for accidentally pickpocketing somebody. I didn't mean to. Everyone's done it at least once, right? <laughs> and then I had no clue where I was. And then it, if it wasn't for my quest marker, I would have never found out where I went even. Like, I would have no clue. And then I would have like, how do I get back to my quest? And then you like, would I don't know where I am. Well, I guess that's I why they put it. them in the, in the games, though. <clears throat> yeah. It's, or if you uh... remember, like, if you remember the older games like Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3, you didn't have quest markers. You just had to go to the city, but then there was only like 12 cities, so it wasn't so bad. <laughs> you were only like an airship right away. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the quest markers. They make gaming much easier for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm pretty... Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree. I guess so, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, but I, I find that really cool. I guess that ties into what games I'm playing. Oh yeah, what games have you been playing, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, right, Hearthstone playing, and Jimmy? Vampire Bloodlines. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> and a, a little free Half-Life Two mod called Estranged. Oh, oh, I've That's seen one. that. I've seen. Oh that. yeah. Yeah. Estranged. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I played that game for about two minutes, and respectfully, the game looks good. It's it's not like what I thought about Shelter. The game actually, <laughs> I think it has, a, I think it looks great, and I think it's probably a lot of fun. I just have a thing with motion sickness, and it made me really sick, so I just couldn't play it. Like it was about a minute and a half, and I had to quit. Oh, okay. you do start off in a boat on the sea, <laughs> so that might be why. Actually, it was me. I was I was like stuck. There's no spoiler here. I was stuck in a mail room or something and I was locked inside it and I had to like go into the door and like I don't know just just the motion maybe I don't know I couldn't play the game I, I get like that sometimes but damn I'm certain it's a good game it looks yeah, it's pretty, pretty good cool. actually damn the beginning may reminded me a lot of Bioshock oh, I love Bioshock <laughs> yeah but yeah, that's, yeah. It's, it's a cool game and it's free so you it might as well free. play it if you got a source I don't, see, yeah, like, just, uh, I don't even think you need Source. I think you can just download it. Yeah, I don't think you need you the get it on Steam. Sorry? Actually, yeah, yeah, I, think, Steam. I think you can get it off Steam. I don't remember. There's yeah, you another can, game yeah. that I. Yeah, it was Steam, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on Steam. Uh, apart from that, what have I been playing? That's about it, really. Uh, speaking of Shelter, don't we still have a copy of Shelter to give away? I think. I think we do. We still have I think one. we have. I, we've reached the point in the podcast where if someone's still listening, <laughs> we should just we should just give them the copy of Shelter as a as a gift. Yeah, so like just say you were listening. <laughs> first person to comment on any of the channels asking for the key, we'll give it to them. Actually, should I sing a song and if they can guess what it is? Yes. Yeah, you know, there should be some kind of skill testing question, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, take it away, Jimmo. Jimmy. <clears throat> Here we go. Do you want to um, beat? Be? No. <laughs> no, no Wait. celery, just no. <laughs> Shall I give a clue, actually? Um, why don't, why don't, like, you do it, we'll try and guess, and, like, if we have no idea, then maybe you can give them a clue. Okay, I'll give you a clue before I start. Sure. <laughs> okay. okay, why don't you just give us a clue, Jimmy? It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's the theme song of someone that dies. <laughs> what? Well, that's clear things, I wonder though. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know it already? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you? Yeah. I was singing it before we started. What? What, what, what was it? He had a, a little bit of a a bromance going on with Leo over there. <laughs> that's a, it's a game. It's a song from a game. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Da da da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> <Fuck it up>. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's even more difficult cuz I'm I can't sing at all. <laughs> that's that's the challenge. Oh man. Well, there won't be any content ID flagging on that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That was embarrassing. Well, I still have a really good idea. That was better than I could have ever done. No, really, that was really good. That um, 
That takes guts, man. Good for you. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, well done, Jimmy. Yep, there goes all my subscribers. I'm subscribers. <laughs> what a what a lame-o. Come on over to Jardev. Um, cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got like five times as many subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't doing. help being so it, popular. Jimmy? Seriously. What song was it? Anyway? What song was it? They have to guess. Well, we can't tell them. Yes, I'll tell you. You after. gotta give them a hint. You gotta give them a hint because uh... it's already a big hint. It's a theme song of a character that died in a video game. There. How many characters do you know have died in video games? How many? Including myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything I've ever played. Um, yeah, it's one of. You should have seen me play Kickbeat today. One of our favorite <laughs> games. I think it's one of John's favorite games or really? yours. I, I I didn't recognize it, so I hope it's not one of my favorite games. I think it's one of yours, Celery. Was it like an older game? Because it kind of sounded yeah. like something on Super Nintendo. No, not that old. Oh, maybe it was just the way you were singing it, like you know, like <laughs> the... that badly. No, no, no. It was like bit pop, right? They were just like, just hitting the notes like 8-bit music, so maybe that's why I thought. Yeah, I suppose it is kind of like, uh, what's the word? What's the word for it? I don't know. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, if you want to win a copy of Shelter, guess what song Jimmy was singing? Guess that song, yeah. Yeah, that's your prize. And if you <laughs> Shit, this hear... game of last year. If you want a hint, you can always type it in the comments, and Jimmy might give you a hint, because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it yeah. is. Type it up, go on his channel, yeah, and ask him, because he might give you a hint, because we still got a key for that, and I got to get it off my computer, because it's it's not safe here, so. I can't, just, I can't uh, see anyone being that desperate to play it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to comment. Maybe really. they will. Maybe. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> No, no, maybe somebody will enjoy it, you know, it's, you know, if you got like an older computer that, you know, you enjoy that kind of game and you're kind of limited to your choices, it's a good, it's a good choice. It's not, you know, system demanding, it's um, slow paced, so if you don't yeah. like really big action games. Um, if you like you badgers. Play... <laughs> if you like badgers, you this love is this your game. game. <laughs> uh, there's loads of badgers in it. There's a Was lot there of six, badgers. Six badgers? Something like that, Speaking yeah. Speaking of badgers. Speaking of badgers. Right. So I was watching this video on YouTube today, and it's about this. Like, apparently people in Brazil play a lot of pranks on each other. Sure. And they're really good with their sense of humor. Like, oh. I don't know, that's what the video said anyways. Is it a lift thing? Yeah, it is. Did you see this? Yeah. No, go ahead and it was, explain it, though. Okay, so it has nothing to do with badgers. I was actually showing somebody a badger video. Um... <laughs> The mushroom, mushroom badger video, oh, and yeah. then I remembered this other video, and I showed them this video. So, okay, so what happens is there's this like oh. this studio that they make oh. this fake elevator, okay? And what they do is they, I don't know, it's, a, it's in Portuguese. I don't know what they're saying, so but they they fool a woman or a man or whomever to go in the elevator, the fake elevator, to like I don't know, um, the third floor or something, right? So they get in the elevator, this fake elevator, and it looks all legit. And suddenly the lights start flickering, okay? And, like, I guess, like, there's some creepy music in the background, but I don't know if that's in the elevator or just in the video. So the lights are flickering, and then all of a sudden they're off. And they have this, like, night vision camera that turns on so that we can see, but the people can't see it. And what happens is, inside this elevator, there's this removable door that nobody knows about. And this little girl comes in through this removable door in the pitch black. Oh, God. <laughs> closes the door. Are you trying to sound as holding this like, as possible? No, it's giving me chills. She's holding this demented doll. The girl looks like she's on crack. Her hair is all, like, rag-tattered. And then all of a sudden the lights come on. Okay, so imagine a woman as old as your mother, okay, standing there, seeing this woman, this girl, this little girl that looks like she's from the movie The Ring, just staring at her, yeah. like, terrified. And then this girl suddenly, like, the woman's, like, her hand is reaching for, like, the elevator buttons. And then all of a sudden the girl screams at her at the top of her lungs. 
and the woman like screams as loud as she can, tries to rip the elevator door open, like just freaking out. And then like they do it to like twelve different people, and the same thing each time. I see a grown man like look like he shit his pants. Like, it was <laughs> oh so God. bad. You see it people so like uh, praying and stuff. They're like yes, yes, yes. There was one guy that was cursing her, or like. I, well, I don't know what he was saying, but it sure sounded religious anyways. Like, I, I really don't know what he was saying. Yeah, uh, so I'll, you know what? I'll called, give you a link for the video. Yeah, it's called Ghost Ghost Elevator Girl Prank. You just search for that and you get it. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a really catchy oh, title. Um, I was really against that because... So was I. It's, it was terrible. It's kind of terrifying and dangerous. On the one hand, someone could really have a panic attack or a heart attack. Yeah, they could. On the that's other like hand... Horrible. On the other hand, a guy could have kicked her in the face or something. That's true. <laughs> you don't like, know how someone's like, gonna react to a little ghost child. I could, I couldn't, re- I couldn't agree with you more. I would have front kicked her right through the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would have gone kneecap into her face, man, and then. But yeah, yeah I think it's pretty Cause... lucky. Like nobody just like greeted her. <laughs> There's another prank I gotta tell you about. It's along similar similar lines. I don't know where it is, but. Uh, it's for the movie Chucky. You know Chucky? Yeah, I haven't seen it, but... <laughs> but you know what the guy looks like? The little doll? The little doll, person? yeah. I know what, I know what Chucko looks So they got, like. they got a bus stop, and you know ads you get at a bus stop, like big poster ads? Yeah. Yep. Well, they get a midget, and they dress him up like <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> like, properly, like, all these kind of cosmetic facial bits on him, the hair is all good, he's wearing the dungarees, he's got a knife. Like a plastic knife. Sure. And they put him inside this, this, uh, this glass ad- advertisement board. So there's people sitting at the bus stop, and suddenly he will smash through the glass of the the advertisement poster oh, and come running out and screaming at these people. Oh, <laughs> and they'll just it's like it's so scary. They'll like oh, freak out God. and run down the street and stuff. Oh yeah you would. Some crazy man with a knife. Right? Yeah, and, and he, he happens to look like Chucky. <laughs> no, he looks yeah. exactly like Chucky and oh sorry I didn't explain the poster is for the movie Chucky. Okay, that, that yeah, makes more are. sense, yeah. That does uh, make sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. I, it? It would still be scary. It wouldn't matter. It would still make you shit your pants. Yeah. Except, like, if you go into a bus shelter and there's just, like, like a perfume ad there, and then you just see, like, Chucky just kind of chilling in front of it, you're like, hmm. And yeah. then he explodes out, you're like, oh, fuck. But the funny thing is, like, there's, like, it's how people react. So there's, like, a mother and her child, and oh, the, child just legs, the child just legs it. <laughs> just runs away. <laughs> just, just takes off. Yeah. Oh, He's like, oh. <sighs> You're on your own, Mom. I'm out of here. <laughs> there's two. The guys who were the bravest, the bravest guys were two gay guys who had, like, uh, like handbags and stuff, and they start, they went to hit, <laughs> they went to hit the little midget. Oh, really? <laughs> Or they like tried to fight back. Oh man! Good for them. Good for them. Yeah, so breaking stereotypes. If I saw a little little fella coming at me with a knife. I I don't think I'd fight back. <laughs> I would run. Yeah. I'd run, because yeah, you can you, you know can what? Run pretty easily. But it's so scary because it's like nighttime and he just like jumps out of the After glass pretty like much. Ten seconds. Yeah, like you have like no reaction time, right? You just got to do it. That's true. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do. Fuck. But, but the girl in the lift, that. though, I would... I don't know what I would do. Yeah, that fucking elevator thing. I would probably scary. scream. I, I would was, probably scream. I was thinking about that because I know so many people from Singapore that have seen ghosts and stuff. And this is like... It's not like people that believe in it. I know people that are as against believing in Jimmy, ghosts you can't as be me. Tell me this, man. I'm in like in my basement or my ground floor of my house. And oh, dark, shit, man. I was going to tell you some stories. <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> like, no, no. I like guess one of my... Like, like one of my ex girlfriend's house was haunted by a, a thing called a toyo, which is a baby ghost. Uh huh. Because when they, when they moved into the flat, uh, there was like a Chinese altar there, and they didn't know what to yeah, do with it. It's like an exorcism. I don't want to hear this shit, man. This makes me creep <laughs> oh, me out. It's, oh my god. <laughs> it's not. It's not scary. It's not scary. But um, the one of the first few times I stayed at her house, uh, we were talking until like two in the morning. And because her dad's there, I can't, like, sleep in her bedroom. I have to sleep on the couch. And uh, she was like, oh, by the way, sometimes there's a small boy that appears in the corner there. <laughs> but, but don't worry about it. Good night. 
I was like, <laughs> fucking, oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I, I did not sleep. <laughs> I don't fucking night. think, no way. I was so angry with her. Oh <laughs> did you see anything? No, I didn't. Uh huh. <laughs> He couldn't see anything. He was under the covers the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm digging my nails into my legs. Holy shit, Jimmy. That's some scary shit, man. That's, yeah. that's, that, but, that's real. Never heard of that stuff before. I, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people that are like, yeah, dude, I, I saw something. <laughs> and there's places like when I was in the army, uh, there's entire buildings that are closed off because uh, they say they've got a third door and stuff. And too much shit happened there. They had to close off the whole building. A third door? A third door for, like, ghosts to come enter and go out. Spirits. Oh. Uh-huh. Is there, is there a lot of, like, super... Is there a lot of superstition in Singapore? Is that, like, yeah. part of the culture a bit? Okay. Well, yeah, I suppose so, but... There's also a lot of unexplained stuff that happens. In this <laughs> I don't know. I've been in that scenario before, and I've never been in a building where a lot of people have died or something, so it's just, like, it's it's weird for me, but... When I lived in Ottawa, they have a... Ottawa is the capital of Canada, guys, in case you guys I, don't know. I'm Canadian! But, uh, no, uh, you know. I meant, I meant the viewers, uh, not you guys. But I meant the viewers. <laughs> um, and, I, and I lived there for about five years, and they have a haunted... It's like a haunted house tour, but it's like there's a jail there that like they, have, <laughs> they, they claim is haunted. There's a hotel that they claim is haunted, and they take you on this tour. I never did it, but apparently it's terrifying. Just terrifying. It's because they make yeah, it like terrifying. Old. Have you ever done it? Have you ever done it? Or? No, but like these things, is that like there's nothing terrifying about them. People just make them terrifying. <laughs> it's a dungeon. It has iron bars. Exactly. <laughs> like they'll have someone like, died over there like, in that corner. And shit. Yeah, no, that's some fucked up shit, man. Someone shit themselves to death in this corner. <laughs> They drowned in their own. And shit. sometimes you sometimes you can smell shit. <laughs> sometimes you can still smell shit. And he just farts really it's quickly. The shit of a ghost. Yeah. Shit of a ghost. Jesus. That's a turd out of a plastic bag. Um, <laughs> it's like sigh. Or a gentleman or yeah, that's it. That's it was gentleman video. <laughs> so yeah. About ghosts. <laughs> wow. we, uh, that's why I can't I can't play scary games man like these supernatural games I can't do it it scares uh, me too much I hate playing scary games I, I, I really like watching them but I can't stand playing them yeah it, it's, I, it's so much different when you play it really is I, I, uh, go and, go I and watch it. my the third episode of my vampire masquerade uh, series not, not because I'm promoting it. I just want to, <laughs> I just want you to see how freaking scared I was. Okay, I'll check. And that the thing out. was, I did like forty minutes, or it must be like half an hour of it, right? And I was scared the entire time. And then I reached a, a a bit where I died, and I realized at the load screen that I didn't save my game since before I started that. Oh God! So I had to go back and do it all of fucking again. Oh God. <laughs> At least but it wasn't scary back. the second time, though, right? Yeah, no, I know. I had my headphones off. I was playing music and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the same. Very good, yeah. I was like, fuck this. I'm not going to be scared again. I played... What, uh, kind of, uh, what kind of headphones do you have, Jimmy? Headphones? Um, yeah, do you have like, the kind that cover your ear, or is it the kind that go in your ear? Or on your ear? On my ear. It's like an eight-year-old pair of Sennheisers. <laughs> okay, no, Sennheiser's a really good brand. They're actually really nice, probably. Yeah, it lasted me eight years, so there you go. The, the headphones I have, they're, these are Sony's um, XR700. I don't I forget what they are, but I can't hear a thing around me. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, that's a bit weird. I mean, so when I play those games, <laughs> I, I, like, you know, if somebody calls my name upstairs, I can't even hear them. Oh, like, fuck right it. now, I couldn't either. I like so that I for immersiveness, quite... but... It's yeah. a bit too much, I think, for me. I'm terrified playing it. When I played Outlast, I th- I swear to you, I almost peed my pants. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I watched like that the Rick videos thing. Yeah, it was funny. That was truthful. That was all truthful. There was no exaggeration. I, I, I haven't played it. I'm supposed to continue. People are asking me to. I can't. I just can't <laughs> muster the courage, right? Like, I just can't do it. Like, yeah. call me a coward. Call me a chicken. 
you play it. <laughs> there's a reason why there's, there's a reason why videos like that are so successful. People like watching reactions. They like watching human reactions, I guess. And also, like, they don't want to play it themselves. It's easier just to watch someone else play it. Yeah. Especially if you know where the jump scares are coming, right? Like, after you've seen the video, it won't be as scary, right? Exactly. Like, I think you nailed it on the head, Jimmy. They're like, wait, wait. There he is. He shit his pants right yeah. there. You can tell. I, like, I think that's what they Because yeah. I saw the first few minutes of Outlast as well, so I knew what was coming when you were going to when okay, you were walking yeah. through the like library bit. Oh god, yeah. And, a, oh. The guy like hanging, <laughs> hanging off the ceiling and he speaks. Oh god. Oh, god. I was like, hey, you're gonna shit yourself here, son. <laughs> and then boom. I might have to watch your video. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, I normally don't like those kind of videos. Scares. I already watched the jump Just scares watch- one. Oh, okay. Okay. But like it won't, really be as, like it. it won't be as scary or like as immersive if I don't watch the entire thing. That's true. Mm. Oh man, that was intense. I, I won't. I, I always say I won't play it, but I'll play another one eventually, and I'll do the same friggin' thing. I'll probably play it Halloween night on a dark and stormy one too. And oh, oh probably. Yeah. You did the uh, scares. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say you did the screecher, right, Siller? Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, that I did actually, that as well. I was just about to mention that, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> it's not nearly as scary. Outlast was much scarier. Screecher was scary, but for whatever reason, it didn't scare me nearly as much. Oh. oh. Um, <laughs> it, it was a cool mod for Don't Starve, just so you could see what it's capable of doing. It's almost like a... It's almost like, you know, a, a, a an environment where you can make other games. It's so useful, like, versatile. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Outlast, by far, the scariest game I've played ever. Like, I actually, it seems like the more and more of them I play, they get scarier and scarier. Maybe that's yeah. that's how the gaming industry is going, but it's I think it, so, it was yeah. terrifying. Scariest game I ever played was a game <laughs> called what was it? A Clockwork? A clock? Oh shit! What's it called? Clockwork Orgy. <laughs> oh yeah. Clock a Clockwork Tower, I think it's called. It's back on the PS One. But you get chased around by a small little ghost girl. <laughs> right. And yeah. <laughs> if you know the game, ago, then you know what I'm talking having... about. If not, <laughs> then forget it. <laughs> Let us know in the or, uh, comments if you know what game he's talking about. <laughs> Silent Hill was pretty scary. I played that, that was with scary. my cousin. That was the first game like that too, eh? What, that, oh, I don't think there was... Yeah. Was that the first in the genre? The Resident Evil had been around, I think. No, you're right. Resident Evil had been around, but Resident. No, you're right. I guess Resident Evil compares to it at the time it did, anyways. But uh, Silent yeah. Hill was pretty unique, and it. I think the series got worse as it gone. Definitely, the I first one so. was the best one. I've only played like one Silent Hill game, and it was like fairly recent. It was like two or three years ago, and it wasn't yeah. that scary. So I imagine like the early ones were the the, the scariest. Yeah, I mean, the first level, you're walking through an, alley- an alleyway, and there's, like, an overturned wheelchair with its wheels spinning. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and, and you're like, like well... Foggy and dark. Intense. And yeah. It's intense, man. There wasn't too many video games at that time or that era that would actually make you jump. And we didn't. You, it's not like these, these video games nowadays where you jump, like, sky high. You jump, but only so often. Yeah. But you almost, like... When you're playing with your friends, let's say, like you're like, no, no, you hold the controller. No, no, you do it. Like nobody wants to do it because it's so scary, right? Exactly, they just yeah. don't want to do yeah. it. It's so much scarier playing than just watching somebody else play it. Yeah, so my yeah. flatmate watched me play Bioshock because <laughs> he was getting so into the story, and I was like, yeah, go have a turn, go and play. I'll watch. And he was like, no, I can't. That's I how can't I started watch. off Bioshock. Actually, I like I bought it, and I was like too scared to play it. So I, uh, I watched a couple of my friends play it, and then I just like gave in and played it all myself, and it was good. Yeah, I probably couldn't have do- couldn't have done it if he hadn't have been there by my side. I found I'm so Bioshock, bad because it's such a good game. Bioshock got like less scary the further into the game you got. Yes, yeah, there's the whole bit with uh, Doctor Su Chong and stuff. Yeah, got Bioshock. and then Sander Cohen that was a bit scary. But it was, it was really weird because he. Like, watch me play and listen to all the audio diaries. He actually called what was going to happen in the twist. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. 
And uh, but yeah, I, I, I thought I, that was pretty cool. I kind of knew what was cool, yeah. the twist, but like I sort of didn't. So it was still a nice surprise, but like it wasn't as like hard hitting as I think it could have been. Right. Yeah. But it was still there's, there's, fantastic. There's um, I watched the Rooster Teeth podcast, and uh, Bernie and that came up with something I thought was really cool. Uh, you, have you guys played Bioshock Infinite? I haven't. I haven't no. played it. Okay. Well. Throughout the game, Elizabeth is like your companion. Yeah. And she'll throw like ammo and health to you. Yeah. And every every time she does that, she'll go book a catch. So she'll go book a catch and throw ammo at you or book a catch and throw health. Oh, okay. And so he kind of thought, hmm, there's going to be a big plot uh, device or a bit in the story where that plays a big role where she goes <laughs> book, a, book a catch and he has to like catch something. You know, spoilers. No, it's, there's no spoilers because this doesn't happen. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't but, played the game. But you thought that would be really cool if something like that happened, but it never did. It didn't. And I thought that would be really sweet. It would be the same as what happens in Bioshock. You know? Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. Again, if you've not played Bioshock, you've probably got no idea what, what the hell we're talking about. If That's have... me. <laughs> <laughs> have you not played Bioshock? No, I haven't. Go and oh. play it. Bioshock is fantastic. You can you can skip you can skip Bioshock too. I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, nothing really happens in Bioshock too. Nah, the first <laughs> one's just great though. Yeah, one of the best. I only recently played it. I think. Um... A lot of people keep giving Bioshock Infinite stick about the story. They're like, oh, this could have been like that, and that could have been like that. If you just like separate it, it's still an amazing story to tell. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I I really need to play it. <laughs> still haven't got around to playing it. Yeah, go for it. Surprised you didn't pick it up in it? the sale. I have it. <laughs> I gotta right. get it. I'm I'm just a cheap bastard. It well, goes like pretty cheap now. Bosch Infinite? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it's discounted somewhere. Yeah, it goes so. cheap on, on like, the, 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 the regular Steam store. So we're at about Bios. an hour now? Oh, yeah, so we are. We could, <coughs> we could round it off, or we could spend a few minutes talking about Game of Thrones quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Game of Thrones. That's all I have to say. I can't wait either. I'm fairly it's, excited it's awesome. for Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> What's Fair, that? Only fairly excited? Only fairly excited. Fairly? Why? I, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't oh. really think there's like anything I'm like super looking forward to right now. Oh, that's like, a shame. When, Game of, like, when the third season came out, I didn't get to... Like, I don't get to watch this as soon as it comes out. I watch it with a couple of my friends on Fridays. And then yeah. we ended up like not watching them. And then we went away for a couple of days in the summer. We watched like all, all like the entire season in one day. So like, oh. like I know I'm not gonna be able to watch it as soon as it comes out. So that's probably why I'm not super excited for it. But like, I'm still looking forward to it. Yeah, and oh, I, I gotta catch up. I think they've said that they're only gonna do seven seasons. So. Really? Yeah. I don't know how that's gonna that... work. <laughs> but uh, there's enough? there's gonna be eight books, is it? I don't know. No, there's gonna be seven books, but the seventh least... book isn't gonna come out for probably at least ten years. Yeah, which is why I think they're going to veer off from the books soon. Yeah, they'll do like a just kind of make their own story up. Yeah, but I I I, I assume they're working with George R. R. Martin, so they can probably like he might give them yeah, some they figure something out. But they've killed off characters that are still alive and stuff in the books. Have they? I didn't know that. I think so. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> they've they've kept characters alive and they've killed some characters off. I think, if I'm not wrong, Serial Pharrell, like the Swordmaster, I think he's still alive in the books somewhere. Or maybe uh, I'm thinking of something else, actually. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure they have. They've, they've killed off some characters and stuff like that. Well, whatever they're doing, they're doing a damn good job, because that show is off the hook. Yeah, it's still, yeah. It's still very entertaining to watch. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens to Arya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
From Sansa? Oh, poor Sansa. Her and Tyrion. Uh, who gives a shit about Sansa? Yeah, nobody cares about Sansa. I give Sansa. a shit about Sansa. What's <laughs> <laughs> Sansa? Yeah, man. Who cares that, about that, Sansa? Did I tell you guys about the guy who's making, like, font jokes with Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Comic Sansa. Yeah. If you don't get that reference, go watch one of our previous podcasts. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> wink, wink. Wait, I think wait. it was in one of the zombie games. Oh, it might be in that too. Oh, it was. Nah, it zombies. was. Yeah. Just, just go watch like all of our collab stuff. You'll find it somewhere. <laughs> yes, eventually. all You'll of find it. it yeah. yeah. Let's watch it's... all of it. Yeah, go for it. There's not that much, but there'll be more. <laughs> there always will be. Always. Yeah. Anyway, let's wrap it up there. I think we're we're in about an hour. Yeah, that that was sounds... a lot of fun. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're still here. <laughs> I say, I keep saying watching. <laughs> I said that last time. Well, I guess it's, I don't know, it's still a video. I suppose so. Thanks, I'm going to stick like by my guns. Show. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, th- thanks for watching with your ear holes, everyone. Yeah. It means a lot <laughs> to us. Take care and peace out. Peace yeah, guys. out, homies. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Just gonna have the last bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stop. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, Damn it, sir. So <laughs> I feel knackered after that. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs>